Mr. Lanka, the, the word out there, which uh, uh, Mr. Gino also said now, is that it is actually uh, the PDP people, in his words, that attacked the judiciary. Is that correct? The question, the question, the question Mr. Gino should also answer, answer is that what is the population of PDP members in the state? So, is he also saying that the over 200,000 people that voted for Fauci are PDP members? Is he, is he also telling us that the vote given to Fauci to become governor of the United States was given to PDP, PDP members? On Monday, the PDP people, the people invaded the court. No PDP members. The PDP people who, who saw that the mandate they gave, the, the mandate freely given to Fauci was going to be taken away through a judicial coup by these people. Unfortunately, unfortunately, and I want to say this again, on June 22, after the election, these same 11 people congratulated Fayoshi. Let me read to you. This is the statement issued by Premier General. I can't buy it. To the best, to the best that we can determine, we believe that people have made their choice. And as people who are highly committed to the development and progress of the state, we respect the decision of our people and wish the government elect well in this new assignment. Election has come and gone. A winner has emerged. That is a paragraph from the statement issued by Femi Aguilera on June 22 to congratulate Fayoshi. Did, did you say he what signed is he that? Talking about now? Did yeah? you say he signed that document? He signed it. You can Google it. It's on the internet. Let, let, did you sign that Fayoshi. document, Mr. That document internet. was signed by myself on the 22nd of June, immediately after the election. When all the facts came in, there were a lot and lots of allegations. There were a lot of a lot of arrests of other political parties, and we now said this. No, but that happened. Be, well, it happened before you signed the document, but you signed the document after he had been declared winner. Yes, you know he was declared winner on that twenty second in the morning. In the evening we met. Eleven members we met. We now agreed that where since this is the far, these are the things that we have seen on ground. This is the right thing to do so that we don't have any problem in our hands. And we did that. Subsequent to this signing of uh, congratulatory something, we now begin to get fast from different corners in the state. There were a lot of intimidations. There were a lot of arrests. No, no, but, but you're in court not based on the outcome of the election. You just told us now that you're in court based on, uh, well, his... Uh, uh, integrity yes. to contest the election yes. but that integrity yeah. precede the election yes. and your congratulatory message was after the election so yeah. how do you marry that if the, the in initial... issue about the integrity of Mr. Fayesha preceded the election and immediately after the election you didn't see any reason about his integrity you had to congratulate him because we also have all of that online and everything I'm happy that you just said you signed that document of course so yes. let me... how does it make uh, let logic me... for let us let me... let me say this you see, when you agree to do something based on certain facts available to you at a point in time, those are the, those were the issues as at that time. The issue of integrity has always been there, and we've we've been we've agreed that we are going to court. So, did you write another <coughs> one after you signed that first one? The court was already we already we already in court. We, we never withdraw the case. No, you were in court for integrity. His integrity. Yes, the not for injury, the not for injury. his victory. At all, no. We didn't challenge the victory. So what changed? I mean, after you... Nothing has changed. Around. The issue of integrity, the issue of its qualification has been in the court. No, it, it comes before across... Before the election, long before the election. It comes across as though it's double standard because he says that, you admit, you, you signed and congratulated him. Yes. And now you're raising the matter We've, that certain right, right. allegations were coming in yes. after you had congratulated him. Yes. Of which you did not put up any other message saying, well... In the light of this, our congratulation might have been hasty. There was no such commentary from you. Several, so, in several, other, as, several forums, we have said that several times. That the issue, of, the issue of his integrity, the issue of his qualification, we still continue. Despite all this, it doesn't matter. If I said this is the right thing, this is right. And I, there is a, there is I, I get the point. But yes, you're in court based on, you said you went to court before yes, the yes. elections. But the matter you raised now yes. was that after you congratulated him, yes. some reports were coming in. Yes. And so what changed for you in the light of your congratulating him? Several things. There were a lot of uh, arrests of members of other, the other political parties. 
even some of my eleven members were arrested on the, uh, pre the during the election or before the election. Some of there were intimidations. There were a lot of other things of which you are not in court for. Of which we are not in court for. Okay, Mr. Lainka. Okay, Mark, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, Mr. Lainka. Can, can you still hear us? Here. Okay. Now you have also talked about. I mean, I think that Mr. Junior here has conceded that he did uh, send that sign, that congratulatory message. But yeah. is the governor-elect, Ayofayoshi, is it afraid of, of the courts? Nobody is afraid of the courts. Nobody is afraid of the courts. What we are saying is that let the court sit, let the court sit objectively. It is the moment, the moment, I said it, I said it, I said it on, on a radio program two, three days ago. The problem in the city, if we are not too careful, we destroy democracy in this country. Election has been edge. Some people, some people are in court to stop him in inauguration. What is the urgency in, in, in this matter? He has been elected. Even after his inauguration, this case can continue. Why do they want to use the case to stop in his inauguration? And the danger in this is that we will be having presidential election in, in, in February. What if after someone has won that election, somebody will also use a, 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 issue, a, a issue to also go to court? You know, Ms. Alainka, you, you, you seem to be fast forwarding for uh, me right now. I, I, I'm sorry I can't follow your train of thought. If we have, an, if we have a matter, which is a pre-election issue, they say they've yeah. gone to court to contest, to challenge the integrity of the governor-elect, Ayo Fayoshi. It's a grievous matter. Uh, don't you think that the governor-elect would want to quickly clear his name before he's finally sworn in? The governor, the governor in there is not afraid of clearing his name. In natural fact, the case that they have filed in court is even nothing. It is unfortunate. It is unfortunate that it is either their lawyers are deceiving them, or they are trying to also throw it into the into crisis the way they have been doing. Let me let me call your attention to, to, to section one eighty two that talks about impeachment. That section, that section, subsection one I has been deleted from the constitution that they are relying on. It was, it, it, I, I'm not a lawyer anyway, but operation 19 of 2000, 2010, don't, don't, uh, amend them in July 2010 as to remove, uh, as to remove that aspect of the constitution. And it is based on the Supreme Court judgment on, on the case of Atiku in 2007. So if anybody is talking about impeachment or whatever, nobody is nobody is afraid of going to court. But when you have a job that has been so compromised, when you have a judiciary that when, when you want a CJ that is an interested party now, behaving like a politician, my brother, but my sister, Nigerian, people must be apprehensive. And if people and I want to tell you that if people are apprehensive because they have been sustained by the judiciary ones. We don't want to be sustained again. That is why people are saying this, this case is in this, this is, is court. Let us ask a, a judge, a judge that we know that will, will be bad, a judge that will not give ruling on a preliminary objection, and we will not I, I want to foreclose the right of the, 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 the right of the defendant to appeal that ruling. Mr. Alainka, I'm sure you're aware yeah. that some of the statements you're making are quite grievous. You've said that, one, yeah. that the people of Ikiti were shortchanged through the judiciary. Yeah. That's just a moment. You've said that that's your statement. You've also said that a coup was carried out, or you're trying to avoid a coup through the, through the back door, uh, going mm -hmm. through the judiciary. That is another statement. You've also said that the people of Ikiti invaded the court to uphold their mandate. Is that what you am I getting you very clear on these statements that you're making? I am not said I am not said the people whoever. I am I am aware that people have been arrested in connection with what happened at the court two Mondays ago. People have been arrested. But you and seem to be in support of what has happened at the court. I want to say I said something before. Hello? I said something on 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 October 15th. 2010, <coughs> a judgment was given in the morning. The controversy surrounding that judgment led to the exit of the then president of, president of, of the Court of Appeal. It was that judgment. The removal, the purported impeachment of Fayoche in 2006 led to the 
threat to the removal of Joseph Bamishile and Joseph Alabijana from the state judiciary. We have been having casualty, 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 casualty from the judiciary. And that is also some of what I'm also saying that judicial officers in the state this time should so be careful. Let them follow this case properly. All right, uh, Mr. Lanka. Yeah, right. He said, that's Mr. Junior, that both lawyers had met and agreed that, I mean, even in, uh, in the courts, that this case was going to be an accelerated one. And so if that were the case, and even if you say that you want a judge that will be objective, but the counsels can always apply for the judges to disqualify themselves. <coughs> so there shouldn't be anything to worry about, should there? If you want to, if it has been agreed that the case will be given as an answer, I'm not a lawyer. When you give, a, when you deliver a ruling or preliminary objection in a case, there should be room. There is room for appeal of that ruling. The ruling that was delivered by by Judge Oguyemi on that Monday, saying that he has jurisdiction to to go ahead with the case, that ruling can be appealed again. And as I'm talking to you, the ruling has been appealed again. Still, of procedure has been filed at the court. So people, the case they are talking about, cannot go on until the appeal complete on jurisdiction, on the ruling of jurisdiction is disposed of. That is the situation, and that is, that is the normal, that is, that is the normal rule the law should follow. Yes, when but... When you give a ruling, the other party <coughs> that the ruling is against has the right to appeal, has the right of appeal, and that has been done. In other words, there is no justification whatsoever for the attack on the judiciary. There is no, my, my, I've said this ever time, there is no reason anybody should have, anybody should have resorted to self help. There is no reason, there is no justification for the invasion. It is not good for our democracy. But again, I have to say it. I gave an example last, last week. When, when our Lord Jesus Christ entered the temple and met people praying in the temple, Jesus Christ, even Jesus Christ could not hold his peace. So you cannot control the feelings of the people, in, especially when you sound like you were there that day. <laughs> they arrived in a big trap full of us. Maybe I yeah, should. Sure. Okay, so just a minute. Let me say a general comment on this one. Arrested, the people who have been arrested have been charged to court. Police should do their investigation. The security agents should do their investigation. The government elects that your party has called or anybody against you to, to, to investigate. The PDP has called or anybody against you to investigate. So what we are saying is that these level people should give us peace in equity. Let us have peace for once. 